I've never talked about this bag on my channel or on Instagram. I don't even think I've talked about this designer on my channel before, but I bought one of her bags, quietly returned it, and never showed it. I'll tell you why that item didn't work out for me. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. This is Lula LV. On this channel, we talk mostly about Louis Vuitton, but also other luxury brands, premium beauty, and contemporary designers. So if you like any of those topics, please do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos. I am dressed super casually today. I hope you don't mind, but it is freezing cold outside. So I am just hanging out in my house in my hoodie and we're going to have a nice little chat today. Today we're doing a tag video started by the beautiful, sweet, kind, smart Tesla over on the channel, Teslux. I will link to her socials below, so if you don't already follow her, please do go check out her channel and subscribe. This is the quietly returned bag tag. And I love this topic because I really enjoy hearing why a specific item didn't work out for someone. We always, always see so many unboxings and reviews telling us to go out and buy something, but I really like hearing the opposite of that, if not only to save myself some money, but also to save myself regret further down the line. Tesla's tag is all about items we've purchased, but never shown on our channels and just quietly returned because we knew right away that that item would not work out for us. And there's, believe it or not, only one bag that truly fits into this category for me. It's a bag that I purchased off of Fashion File this past year. I opened it up right away. I knew it wasn't going to work for me and I just returned it to Fashion File. This is not only a bag, but also a designer I've never even mentioned on my channel or on my Instagram. It is none other than the iconic Falabella Tote from Stella McCartney. I was browsing on Fashion File one day and I saw this bag pop up. The first thing that attracted me to this bag was the color. It's in this beautiful coral orangey pink color that uh, they call peony. And the second thing that attracted me to this bag was the price. This was marked down, I think, to 30% off. So it was only $350. And I loved the color. It's an edgy yet casual bag. I thought this would make a great everyday bag. And at only $350, I didn't think it would hurt to purchase it and try the bag out. However, when I received the bag from Fashion File, I knew right away that it wasn't going to work out for me. The material that they use is uh, what they refer to as a vegan leather. I'm not sure exactly what it's made out of, but it's a very, very lightweight material, and I didn't like how the bag had zero shape or structure to it, and this really lightweight fabric was paired with a really chunky chain that went all the way around the bag. It was just really awkward to hold. I even put a few of my items that I carry with me all the time in the bag, like my wallet, my keys, my mini pochette, and everything just kind of fell into the middle of the bag. It, I couldn't organize anything and the chains just kind of pushed the bag in and all the items in my bag in on itself. So I knew right away that this bag wasn't going to work out for me and I sent it back to Fashion File and got my refund. Believe it or not, that is the only bag that truly fits into this tag. However, something that is kind of related to this tag is my Speedy Bandolier 30. I just got this bag back. I had listed it for sale earlier this year. I did a video that I was selling this bag, but I haven't talked a lot about this bag since it was returned to me 
why I decided to take down the listing and keep it after all. So I'm gonna talk about that really quickly because I think it is related to this tag. I originally purchased the Speedy Bandolier in, I believe, May of 2021. And this July, so about one year after I purchased it, I decided to sell it. I couldn't return it to Louis Vuitton because after a whole year had went by, this of course was no longer eligible to return. But I decided to sell the bag because it was one of my least used bags. I very, very rarely ever used this bag and it was just sitting in my closet collecting dust. And because I was adding other bags to my collection, I decided I might as well rehome this bag give someone else the opportunity to own it who would actually really use the bag and put the money towards another purchase. I listed it for sale with Julia Rose Boston. A lovely experience with her and her team. And I do not think it was any fault of theirs that this bag did not sell. I, part of the problem with selling something like a Speedy is it's a very popular bag. It's been around for ages and there are a ton of them on the resale market. So anyone who's looking to buy a bag like a Speedy or a Neverfull or an Alma, there's just a ton of choices on the resale market. And the resale market due to the economy right now is not very strong. So for those reasons, this bag did not sell. It was listed on her site for about three months. They offered to reduce the price for me in order to get the bag to sell, but I declined that for two reasons. The first reason I declined lowering the price is I wasn't very motivated to sell the bag if it meant I would be losing a significant amount of money on it. Given the uh, commission that Julia Rose's company would take for selling the bag for me, if they lowered the price on top of that, I would lose out too much money on this bag. And since I had just purchased it a year ago, I wasn't willing to sell it at that low of a price. And I really didn't need the money for any reason. I was just selling it because I didn't use the bag. The second reason why I asked to re return the bag is when the bag was listed for sale, I actually could have used it my husband and i took our kids down to washington dc for a long weekend and it was a very rainy weekend and i thought to myself when i was packing i wish i had that speedy because it would have been the perfect bag for this weekend it's larger than the other bags i own so it would have been great to fit in all of my kids things when we were out sightseeing for the day and since we were expecting rain that weekend the dummy bean is a perfect rainy weather material so it made me think that perhaps i was a little too hasty in selling it even though i don't use this bag often i do have a need in my lifestyle for a bag like this so i thought instead of selling it and losing money and then repurchasing another speedy or something similar i would just request to have the bag returned back to me I made a point of keeping this bag in my rotation after I received it back, so I decided not to put it in the dust bag back in my closet. I made myself start wearing this bag, and I've used it a few times when it really did come in handy. One example that I talked about in my last video where I compared six different Louis Vuitton bags, I'll link to it in case you're interested in watching that video. But in that video, I mentioned how I took my daughter out to see a show. We went to see Disney on Ice and we I used this bag. I took it with me and it was great because I could fit all of my essentials in here, snacks, extra items for my daughter. And when she wasn't wearing her coat, I was actually able to roll up her coat and stick it in this bag. And if you have kids, you know how easy it is for them to lose items. And when we were in this arena, we met up with some of her friends there. Things were kind of hectic and to not have to hold on to her coat and worry about losing it or having her lose it, to be able to just fit it in this bag with everything else was amazing. So will this ever be one of my most used bags? No, this will probably always be 
one of my least used bags, but when I do need to use it, it is really handy to have in my collection. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope hearing some of these reasons why these items did not and eventually did work out for me were helpful. I will be tagging other creators in the description box below to continue this tag. And I also want to open up the comments below to anyone watching this video. If you have a bag that falls into this category, let us know what it was. That's all I have planned for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And don't forget to come back every Wednesday and Friday for new videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.